Rumors have been circulating that Dr. Stephen Hulbert's tenure as Nickel State University's president may soon be ending. Dr. Hulbert had this to say. I came here in 2003 for five years. Yes, sir. And while I was a history major, even I can do the math to say that uh, five on to three is not 2013, okay? Uh, I came here for, for a stint, but you know, when, when you get here, and I've lived in Montana and Rhode Island and Pennsylvania and Colorado, and my wife Becky and I would tell you that we've never met, lived in a place where the people are more welcoming and gracious and where the area gets under your skin. Uh, you stay much longer than you think, but uh, I'm getting ready to end my career down the road. I'm not sure immediately when it's going to be, but uh, I've put in 10 years to this university. There'll be a transition coming in the, in, the, in the future. In his 10 years as president, Dr. Halbert has faced down many threats to the university, including Hurricane Katrina and Governor Bobby Jindal's massive budget slashing. Nichols administrators are using this time to reflect on their experiences with Dr. Hulbert. The search process was going on to select a new president. Uh, Courtney Cassard, our Director of Enrollment Services, and I uh, had the pleasure of being tour guides for Dr. Hulbert. And at the time, we thought it was the kiss of death for him. We figured he would not be president if they were allowing us to have access to him and give him a campus tour. But uh, she and I gathered the afternoon of his tour because we had toured him individually at separate parts during the day and said what an amazing person uh, he was and how lucky this university would be to have him as a president. So at the point that we were notified that he was selected, uh, we could not have been any more pleased. Uh, naturally, uh, Hurricane Katrina was devastating. Uh, this university had to respond in ways that we never imagined we would and under his leadership um, I think that everybody rose to the occasion and did their best from turning Betsy Sheremiao into a hospital, from turning gymnasiums into shelter, from his gathering of faculty and staff to raise our spirits and to explain uh, dispel clouds of ignorance that these people were not refugees because the inappropriate national media at that point had labeled them such that these were our neighbors, our humans, human friends, our family members that we had to um, to help in their time of need. Yeah, first of all, um, I, I kind of have a phobia with cameras and so Dr. Halbert is the only person that you would be filming me talking about because I would say whatever you wanted me to say behind the scenes. But one of the things that I think I most admire him for is, I mean, he, he didn't just give, you know, 8 to 4.30 to Nichols for how many years he's been here. Literally, I don't think that man knows how to say no to a group that wants him to either welcome them to the, a dinner, um, athletic events. I mean, I, 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 there was one Saturday not, um, not too long ago, and um, I saw him at 10 o'clock in the morning at a baseball alumni event. And then we went at 2 o'clock to a basketball event, so we went to two basketball games. And then I saw him that night at 7 o'clock at a, him and his wife both, at a, the first pitch banquet for baseball. And I was like, you know, how do y'all do, do this? I mean, you know, they show up everywhere. Um, you know, they've just given, both Dr. and Mrs. Hulbert have given so much of their time and life um, in order to support every aspect of this university. It's not just the academics, it's not just the administration. But not just that, he's been an awesome steward of Nickel State University to the community by going out, um, you know, to bioindustrial groups or Kiwanis clubs. Um, and so he's just been a wonderful ambassador and spokesman for us. And um, while we're sad to see him go, um, I think that, you know, if, if he does retire, um, it's, it's well deserved because he's put in more hours than I can imagine. In the coming weeks, NTW News will showcase many stories that will cover the highlights of the Hulbert years, even though the actual date of retirement still remains a mystery. Though no date has been set, one thing is for certain. The next person to live in this house is going to have very big shoes to fill. From the Presidential Residence at Nickel State University, I'm A.J. Barrow.